Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Max Saparis. Welcome back everyone to meteorological fall. Yes, September, October and November. We group them together, call it fall and we are going to start to watch those temps cool off too. But before we do, let's take a look back at our summer, June, July, August. We had an average temp of 71.8 degrees found by summarizing all your highs and lows together. That's more than two and a half degrees above average. Yeah, we were consistently warm this summer. As for the rainfall, we picked up more than 15 and a half inches in Madison, more than two and a half inches above average. But with August, we actually had a little bit of a deficit. Yes, it was still warmer than average, but rain totals uh, were just under three inches at Dane County Regional Airport, putting us one and one third inches below what's typical for the month. But if you want more rain, especially for Madison South and West that could use some more, we have another shot today. Let's track it out on future track. A few light showers will start to move in. I think a couple in, in, North, in central Wisconsin will be a little light in variety and a little bit steadier and heavier as they boil up and move our direction by the evening commute. Looks like Madison and area south have a higher chance for that. And then as we get towards late evening, that wave moves out. Maybe one more wave develops as we approach midnight. Still looks like areas along and south of 151 going to have the highest chance for that. That all exits pre-dawn tomorrow, and we have lots of sunshine that will warm us up later on Wednesday. Here is a look at the rain totals. I agree with the placement. Again, it looks like uh, lower Wisconsin River Valley southward. Dane County southward has a chance for uh, some little decent rain totals, around a quarter inch. Hot spots maybe could get up to a half inch. As for the temps, it's comfy cool outside. Maybe you even need that light jacket for still at this hour with temps in the mid 60s. We're at 66 in Baraboo, 62 in Lone Rock. Here's the rest of today. Going to be tracking temps it's getting a little warmer, low 70s, a few degrees cooler than yesterday and still below average. Definitely feeling fall like here as we are sure in the first day of September. As we head overnight, not as crisp as this morning. We'll get down to the mid 50s to low 60s and then rebound to the upper 70s to around 80 tomorrow afternoon as we have more sunshine and a light breeze out of the west. Okay, where's the rain right now? Tracking it along I-80 through parts of Iowa. This bad over northern Illinois will scoot south of our region. This is what I'm uh, looking at going to move our direction as it moves into northeastern Iowa associated with a broad area of low pressure. Again, that's going to stay south of our region. So that's why farther south has the higher rain chance today. 72 degrees rain chances farther south with increasing clouds. 54 tonight with a few more showers. Uh, those will wrap up after midnight and tomorrow. Lots of sunshine, 80 degrees. So summer still looking alive in the forecast. And you'll see temps in the mid 70s to low 80s through Saturday with lots of sunshine. A few more storm chances Sunday. That's a strong cold front that's going to drop high temps to the 60s next week, Caroline. 60s. And I think most of next week is stuck in the 60s too. Wow. So if you like the summer warmth, enjoy the rest of this week.